My name is Alex Moore, and I am the Premier Apex Account Manager uh, Team Lead for ClickBank. Been with ClickBank for a little over a year now, working with the, the Premier Apex team to uh, take care of, service our top clients, and um, be their inside voice here at ClickBank. Uh, the difference between the Premier and Apex uh, groups is the Premier we've tagged as our top vendors and Apex are our top affiliates. Uh, if you're an affiliate looking to get started as a vendor, you definitely don't want to, you don't have to stray away from what you, uh, into a new territory. Stick with what you know. If you, if you already have a list built, um, you know, what niche can you go into that's going to be pertinent to, the, to your list? And uh, no need to make it hard on yourself. Um, if there's a new emerging niche you want to get into, just really dig in and um, and study and study the market. See what the uh, I always recommend to definitely look and see what your competitors are doing. How are they selling? What what price points they're using? Um, the various ways they're marketing is to hit the ClickBank Marketplace. Go into the category and and check out the the price points, the the commission rates that they're uh, that they're selling at, and you definitely want to be at or near what they're doing. So you can really mimic them and get started a lot, a lot easier. So a vendor looking to attract more affiliates um, will definitely want to take commission into consideration. That's a large part. It's, uh, it's expensive for affiliates if, they, if they're doing paid advertising, if they're doing media buys. It's expensive. So you have to think, at it, think about it from the affiliate's viewpoint. Um, what's going to attract me to promote your product? And so what I always recommend is to go to the ClickBank Marketplace and, and see what your competitors are doing. You definitely want to be in line with that. And sometimes that might mean a 75% commission. But, um, you know, you're not making money unless they're selling it. So um, a 75% commission is, is going to bring on board more affiliates. So you definitely want to just get a vibe for what your competition's doing, what other vendors are doing, and you want to be in line with that. So. Traditionally across Forex, we might see something in the 50 to 60 percent range, and as the price points get higher, the commissions are you know more around 50 percent. Health and fitness, that's traditionally about 75 percent, and and that's something that holds pretty true because you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to change your commissions without notifying your affiliates because there's nothing uh, going to irritate an affiliate more than they're selling at 75 percent all of a sudden they notice they're selling at 60 percent after you've changed it or dropped it. You don't want to you don't want to fluctuate your commission. Probably the biggest thing that I would tell a vendor or a new uh, a new affiliate is is the hard work that is involved. Um, sure we we all want to make money in our underwear and uh, I don't think I don't think you can just show up and be successful. Um, I'm sure there's cases where that's happened but really you have to come in and you have to master your craft and you have to study what's going on um, what what successful people are doing and uh, you really have to you really have to do your homework and work hard at it you can't just show up